It is all part of the healing process. Oh my god, they actually threw him off the fucking roof. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're on season three, episode three of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So let's get started. Oh, well, this old magician guy was trying to unload them. Oh, it's like magical trick knives or? Well, well, the knives are real. I mean, they're used for magical tricks, but they're real. You know what I mean? They're sharp too. Oh, I'll show you. Hey, D, can you get up against the wall for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna... No, you're not throwing knives at me. All right, let's just tell them how we're going. Yeah, no. You know, start running. because we're. Oh my God, Ten. don't you dare. Nine, no. eight. Oh my God. Six, no. five, no. four. four. Max smile. In the middle right. of some very I got funny. news. Your mother is dead. Ah. Yeah, right. Nice try. What? Very funny, Frank. I'm serious. Did he pull that one already? She had a botched neck lift. She's as dead as disco. <laughs> Go on, champagne. <laughs> Dennis and D's mom is dead. Oh my god, they killed her off. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow, she didn't last long in the show at all. That is. So funny. All right, let's go ahead and see how this plays out. It's good to see all of you. Yeah, that's quite all right, sir. Don't worry about it. Listen, would now be a good time to say a few words about my wonderfully warm and caring mother? No, just you know, get to the <laughs> reading part. Get on with it, man. Let's go. All right. Uh, which one of you uh, is Frank Reynolds? Yo. So this is a new character, too. I wonder if we'll see him more. Frank, if you're fat monkey heart is still beating, <laughs> uh, then congratulations. I want you to know that I hereby leave all of your money to Bruce Mathis, the real father of my children. What? What? Bruce Mathis? A handsome man with a beautiful soul <clears throat> and a nicer penis. You're giving all my money to that jerk <laughs> A nicer off. penis. You know, I'm reading what's on the document. Why are you giving okay? it to him? I'm not she barely even knew him. Yeah, I'm not giving any money to anybody, you see. I'm just reading what's on a will. Where is that rat bastard? Sir, I don't know. <laughs> Poor lawyer. Face until he's dead. Kill dead. Frank, we kill dead. About Bruce. I want to just give away all of our money. You know what? We should just move forward, okay? For my darling son, Dennis, hmm? presumably. Uh, I give you my house. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, there you yeah, go. Now it's starting to make sense. Mm -hmm. On the sole condition that Frank not be allowed in. I would never let him in. <laughs> what? Deandra, you get nothing. You were a disappointment and a mistake. <laughs> a mistake? We're twins. Yeah. We were born at the same time. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Tell that bitch it doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. I'm reading the words that someone else wrote, okay? I don't know your mom, never met your mom. In fact, I'm certainly not speaking to your mom now because she's dead. Yeah, we know she's dead. We're venting because we're frustrated. You tell her she's a goddamn whore. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, he's been a whore. Well, well, what, you know, about, what about jewelry? Does it say anything about jewelry? It does say something about the jewelry okay. in here in that um, she wants to be buried in it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, 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 God damn it. She's taking it into the grave. Tell you what, you son of a bitch, I am very disappointed in you today. Very upset with you. You're you angry. tell her for me that I will be in touch with her somehow. Yeah. <laughs> somehow. This is an awkward situation, Dolphin. That poor lawyer, man. Oh my god. Hey, thanks for the house, dude. You know, you know, I didn't give you the house. <laughs> That's not how this whole yeah, situation you works. Did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. Jesus Christ is right. <laughs> I got a plan. The hell is to get she doing? Back at your mother. Too late. I'm already full throttle over here. I'm gonna dig up her body in the middle of the night and snatch back that jewelry. Oh That's my insane. god! Frank, that woman is buried down there like Mr. T. <laughs> I gotta get to that body while you're still loose. Mr. Loose. T. I know how to get the money back from Bruce. What's your plan? All right. Call Brucey on the phone and tell him that you want to introduce Brucey. him to your new fiance. Who's that? Me. Oh, man. Has he never met Frank before? That sure brings back a lot of memories. Yeah, look what I just found in these old room. It's your middle school diary, dude. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Who gives a shit? This is her diary, man. It's got all her secrets and shit in it. Don't, don't, don't. It says keep out. There's a little lock that we can, we'll, we'll, we'll get it open later. We are not <laughs> reading Dee's middle diary. school diary to you, bro. Like, we need to start the healing process. Okay, I'm devastated over here. We need to throw a big-ass party because I need to be amongst my friends. Let's call the crew. Let's round the boys up. Round the crew up. Let's have a 
I have two numbers in my phone, Charlie and Dennis. <laughs> huh. well, what about all our friends, dude? Yeah, what about our friends? Uh, uh, Dooley. Call Dooley. Dooley. Let's call Dooley. Dooley, Dooley loves a good party. Dooley. Dooley in the house. Right, right? Dooley's in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Dooley killed himself. Uh, oh. <laughs> Dennis. Oh, he's years back now. Yeah, it's just real sad, sad, sad thing. That's for him and his family. Terrible. I knew he was. Uh... Very sad. Very depressed. And uh, how about uh, let's call Stash? Let's get the Stash man. Come on. Uh, Stash? Stash man? Uh, What'd you do? I set him on fire. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, forget him. Forget set Stash. Him on fire. I like him anyway. Let's get Z man. I banged his sister. Oh, oh my God. No, they have no friends. Sully. Sully. I got no, Sully. he's got a restraining order against me. I can't go within 500 feet of him. Plus, you know what? I banged his sister too. <laughs> he was gross. Banging yeah, everyone's, everyone's sisters. Yeah. Oh, so wait a minute. What are we saying? We got no friends? Looks like it, right? Whew. That sucks. It's home. Whoa. Boom. That's terrible. Guys, That's guys. Do you realize what that means? I mean, if we were to all die suddenly, just like my mom did, we would have nobody left to mourn us. Oh, shit. You know, we would have no one left behind us to tell of our great adventures and our glorious triumphs. Great oh, adventures. All our triumphs, all our triumphs and our tales. And we need to preserve our legacy. That's yeah, our I'm legacy, saying, bro. Our whole legacy. So here. let's go out and make some friends. Okay, right? let's do that. But first, who wants to burn through a quick chapter of this diary? <laughs> How's the ponytail look? Oh my! I don't understand why you're wearing this whole getup. But Bruce has never even seen you. Okay, so they have to pull this thing off. I got to turn into a liberal Yahoo, just like Bruce. Liberal now, Yahoo. When he gets here, I want you to hold my hand through the whole thing. I won't do that. Look. You've got to stop thinking of me as your dad and start thinking of me as your fiance, Seamus. Mm, gross. Seamus. Please try and think of a less creepy angle. But this is a grift. I mean, that's the way it is. You got to stay in character all the time. As soon as you break character, you blow the grift. Hand, hand. No, I don't want to touch holding you. Holding hands. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Andrew. Oh, my little Frank girl. Space. How are you doing? Are you okay? Well, no, no, I'm, I'm. I'm very broken up inside. <clears throat> Bruce, this is Seamus, my fiance. I am also broken up. <laughs> Let's say we all bring it on in for a hug. Mm. We're doing hugs. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry I missed the funeral. Mm. We're in Uganda doing a lot of work with the AIDS crisis mm. there. And AIDS? <laughs> Touch anybody? <laughs> Well, sure. Hey, man, what kind of shit is that? You just hugged me. Why would you do that? Seamus is joking. He's got a he's got a very dry sense of humor. I'm not joking. That shit is serious. <laughs> I gotta take a shower now. Mm. <laughs> that's kind of oh, odd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's my guy. You know, he's yeah. a, got a little bit of a germ problem. It's... I'll get him some books he's, for that. He's greedy. I'll get him some books sure, for that. Sure, but you seem to be holding up okay. And you... It's funny that I seem like that because I'm not holding up okay. I'm very sad. You're so bad I'm at this. I'm devastated. Nothing tougher than losing a parent. Oh, it's the worst. And it it's is. the worst. So she gave you all of our money, huh? All of, all, of, yeah. all of our fortune. She gave it to you. Weird, right? Yeah. Good news is it's, it's all going to go to help the less fortunate. Every penny. Oh, well, that is good done news. Done deal. Oh, well, you know, that's actually why we brought you here. Oh, see, Seamus and I have a plan. We want to adopt a ton of kids. Oh, dear. Isn't that wonderful that we'll oh. need to use our fortune that my mother gave you to shove at these kids? You know what I think? Huh? I think I know exactly what you and Seamus need. Can you sit tight? You just sit tight. Sit tight. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Going? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Burn these clothes. <laughs> Tracy, cancel all my appointments. Yeah, it's time for my daughter and that idiot who raised her to learn a lesson. Oh, so he does know who he is. Uh oh, they're screwed. How else are three guys in their late twenties supposed to make friends? There's no system in place. A flyer does all the work. Doesn't work for us. All man. right, read back what we got so far. Cause I don't... Okay, what up? We're three cool guys looking for other cool guys who want to hang out <laughs> in our party mansion. Sounds a little gay. Yeah, right? it does sound gay. You're just gonna put nothing sexual again, just to reiterate. Underline. Please, it. Okay, please. Clarity. Be Smart. very clear Smart. with that. And I'm thinking that the flyer should be in the shape of a beer mug. Mm. 
to complicate it. Yeah, uh, what about a bicep? A bicep? Bicep. Bicep's good. Bicep. All right, let's go with a bicep. Okay. All right, yeah, what are we Here we go. Here? What, up? what up? We're three cool guys what up? for other cool guys who want to hang out in our party mansion. Nothing sexual. Dudes in good shape encouraged. If you're fat, you should be able to find humor in the little things. Again, <laughs> nothing sexual. Underline. Okay. Great. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Now, let's go meet some men. Let's go meet some men. Good, bro. Looking very good. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so nice creepy. Cut. You know that vertical line on the side gives your body good length. <laughs> Do you what is he holding? Here? Nah, I'm just looking at <sighs> like some, some new guys. I saw you from. Looks like a penis. Uh, yeah, this guy's got a good sense of style. He's about the same age. Got a nice crop of blonde hair. We could definitely use a blonde in the crew. Mix <laughs> things up a little bit. Here, why, why don't you just uh, take a look at that flyer there? <laughs> is this a penis? A penis? <laughs> it's no, like it's a, a penis. It's, it's a bicep. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Party match. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll swing by. You gonna swing by? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, just come by the address. We'll be there partying. Sure. Yeah, at the party <clears throat> mansion. Yeah, you're gonna be perfect, man. Yeah, nice. okay. see you there. <laughs> I should give him some more for his friends. Yeah. Oh, son <laughs> of a bitch. Penis? No, it's a, a bicep. Bro, oh, I just had the most perfect blonde guy slip right through my fingers. I mean, I had him in the palm of my hand and then he was gone. You know what I mean? I mean, this guy would have been perfect for you. <laughs> What's up with this beefcake? Is he coming to the party or what? Big time. Great. Nah, he didn't read the flyer. Big no, time. I read the flyer. He didn't understand. <clears throat> I understood it perfectly. Oh. Okay. He's into it. Okay, we need to take a second look at the this. Dick flyer. Uh, yeah, dude. What? Guys, check out who I just met buying a crossbow. This dude is the shit. I shall use this crossbow to pierce my broken heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Dude, isn't All that right. guy awesome or what? He's like a poet. That guy's not awesome. No. Dude, do you know how hard it is to find a passionate guy like that these days? They don't make him anymore. You should have seen how passionate he got when I showed him the dick flyer. You knew? <laughs> he knew it was, it was a dick? dick. Well, yeah, yeah he, he knew it was a dick flyer. I thought you guys were changing it. He was always, it was always meant to be a bicep. Well, then why I... did you cut it like, because it looks totally like a dick. It looks like a right? penis. It's, oh, it's a good thing. It's more masculine anyway. <laughs> I mean, good shit, point. if you want it to be a bicep, it needs more veins. <laughs> I can't wear this. I gotta go home yeah. and get another That's costume. what it needs. Come on, there's no time. Just sit down and shut up and wait for Bruce to get back with the money. All right. But I can't promise that I'm not gonna go berserk if he tries to give me AIDS again. He wasn't trying to give you AIDS. <laughs> Jesus to give Christ. Me AIDS. You're the one who's going on and on about staying in character. Yeah, you're right. Look, you're right. We can do this, okay? We just have to go along with whatever he throws at us. We're so close to that money. Yeah. Yeah? I'm not gonna blow the cover. Good. Yeah. Pull your shit together. Right. Seamus. <laughs> Seamus. Surprise! <laughs> These are some of my adopted children. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> this is in the air. Everybody. Guess what? It's just you and us. And we got the party mansion. And there ain't no rules in the party mansion. Check this out, bitches. Woo! Biting an apple. Throws it. Stop being pussies and let's funnel some beer. Let's funnel some beer. I don't really drink. Wrong answer, bitch. You're a drinker tonight. That's right. You guys are going to be telling stories for the rest of your lives about how crazy we are. Oh, yeah. You're going to tell everybody how we're like those guys from Jackass. How we like to smash stuff and shove shit up our asses. That's right. You are gonna get so much shit shoved up your ass tonight, oh, four eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my tonight. god, get, get out of there. <laughs> Dear Diary, <laughs> the dance was a total disaster. I cried myself <clears throat> to sleep again last night. Mom forced me to wear the back brace, Appreciate and all that. the school chanted, Aluminum Monster. <laughs> <laughs> aluminum monster. Oh man, aluminum monster. That is hilarious. No, it's not hilarious. I share this little girl's pain. Have you ever been scorned, Charlie? Uh, like all day, every day, dude. Then you should think of this little girl as your soulmate. <laughs> He's wearing his shirt, just oh, like shit, such, such a big bro. low cut, like open. <laughs> <laughs> Babysitting a bunch of orphans was not part of our grift. Yeah, well, it's either that or digging up mom, which, for the record, I'm still very into. 
but I'm willing to do whatever we need to do to get this money, Frank, okay? If we need to adopt a couple of orphans, fine. We'll, we'll get the money and we'll Whoa. take them back. Can you do that? <laughs> Is that possible? No, I'm, I'm sure they have some kind of a r return exchange policy. That sounds good. <laughs> return exchange. Great, now this one's sad. Give, give her some money. What? Can't give her give some her money. Some I'm money. not giving a shit. What are you talking about? May I speak to you two in the kitchen? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You two have such a great I'm vibe. Sure you heard that I'm ready to write a check right now, but I, I just want to make sure that I'm helping you to have like the best relationship that you can, so that these kids have a loving, stable home. And I know that this may sound a little weird, but I have a lot of training in family therapy, and I think for me to help you, I need to observe you at your most intimate. I, I need to observe you two making love. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did they already kill one of them? I don't know, a couple of minutes. I'm just worried he's gonna wake up before we throw him down the stairs. Are you kidding me, dude? Look at him. He's gone, man. He's out. You're kidding, right? You're not really gonna throw him down the stairs. Oh, we should throw him off the roof. Great idea, right? dude. I'm gonna throw her. Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> this is what friends do to each other, bro. No, it isn't. Guy. His mom just died. Can you have a little compassion? My mom just died, all right? The least you could do is let us throw your buddy off the roof. Looks like they destroyed that place. I'm totally oh not how much I like him tonight. <laughs> Even though Daniel was like all now over Now Charlie slipped, the real, slipped gears. His mother said, don't bother. He wants a pretty girl instead. Just stop crying, you know, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Oh, oh, but don't fight it, Charlie. It is all part of the healing process. <laughs> oh my god, they actually threw him off the fucking roof. <laughs> so tell me, how do you two usually begin your lovemaking session? It's hard to say, you know, because go, go. we start it in so many ways. Seamus, perhaps, perhaps you should start by uh, kissing her neck lightly. Uh, no, no, because uh, <laughs> we don't kiss. We don't kiss at all. Mm -mm. No kissing. It's unusual, but okay, okay. So tell me, uh, just tell me what you are into. I like to watch, so I'm gonna bounce off the bed <laughs> and observe. Okay, okay. See. You see what just happened, Dee? Seamus has just communicated what turns him on in a healthy way. <laughs> so, yeah, perhaps now would be a good time for you to pleasure yourself for him. Oh. But eventually, Seamus will mount you. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to stop this. Uh, yeah, I gotta come clean here because we've been lying to you. Deandra, De Deandra, just no. think about what you're doing. No, you know what? I'm think sorry. About what you're doing. We've been lying. The reason is think we haven't had sex yet. Because we're waiting until we get married. We're waiting. We're saving ourselves. We're saving ourselves. We're saving ourselves. It's so important yeah, to it. me and to yeah. him to do that. Right. And I and I and I think we're that maybe ourselves. that's what the tension is that you're feeling. It's all sexual. Oh, it's so sexual. You know, I'm also a licensed minister. So why don't we just do a, a wedding like do it tomorrow? Because huh. I've been thinking about it, and, and I should never give the money to an unmarried couple anyway. Oh my god, are they going to get married? <laughs> oh my god. We're gathered here to This is crazy. Share in the declaration of a lifelong They have no limits. This man and this woman, Deandra. Mac back there smiling to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. Seamus. You take this woman to be your wedded wife. You betcha. Well then by the authority of God and the laws of the great state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you man and wife. Congratulations, Bianca! Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah, and you just married your daughter, Frank. <laughs> you know who I am? Of course I know who you are. You're the little asswipe who raised my children and turned them into animals, into monsters who, who lie and steal and take advantage of people and contribute absolutely nothing to society. Make sure you're getting this. I can't yeah. believe Ernesto's missing this. He's got to see him, it, Go right? get him, go get him. 
If you knew who he was, then why did you do the whole ceremony? I was just trying to push you two to your limit, but apparently you you have none. So <laughs> yeah, I need to no. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, uh, uh, Bruce. Can, can you can you just uh, pronounce the man and wife again? I want to get that in a close again. Oh, yeah, you do wanna... the thing where you like. Oh, uh, and yes, of course I know who you are, and you were yeah, and you were getting so angry. Bruce, oh, Bruce, yeah. Can you make him kiss this time, though. No? Yes. Uh, sure. May I, <laughs> may I see that camera for just a second from this side, maybe? Sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna take this and give it to the lawyer and you're gonna lose the house because uh, you violated the conditions of the will. Frank was not to set foot in the house. Bruce, come oh, on. Shit. Dad, Dad, Wait. be cool, man. Like, oh. Dad, Dad. You're acting That's like ridiculous. a real bastard, Bruce. You're the most horrible people. Alive. Oh, oh come that's on. a little like that's that. a lot. Going over that's a lot to say. Man, don't, don't, don't be like that, dude. Yeah. Now I'm gonna lose the party mansion. Thanks a lot, Frank. <laughs> They're escaping. Oh, guys, guys, where are you going? Hey, how did they get free? Oh, come on, we're just having a little fun. Do you guys still want to be in our crew? I don't think so. <laughs> God, no, they don't. Go off and tell about our great adventures and our glorious like triumphs. Right? Oh, no, no. Well, at least we still have our nest. Yeah. Whoops. No, no, he robbed your house. Son of a bitch. Yeah. did the grift didn't work out, sweetie. We could still go get mom's jewelry. I'll get the shovel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they really don't have a limit. That was a fantastic episode. I like that we got to see uh, Bruce Mathis again. Uh, their, their, their real dad. And then we also got to meet a, a lawyer. I uh, don't know if we'll see him again. But his, his little part was pretty funny. You could tell he hated doing that uh, will reading. Especially for those individuals. Frank and D got married. Uh, I mean, not legally, obviously. They didn't go to a courthouse and get anything signed. I don't think. Maybe they did. But they actually had someone marry them. That was hilarious. Um, and then Dennis got the mansion, and he lost it within, like, what, two days? I think he didn't even get to keep it that long. <laughs> that was an awesome episode. I'm going to get started on episode four here soon, guys. Uh, but uh, until next time, take care.